Hey guys, Cannon here. Uh, I don't know if you guys can tell the difference, but uh, I'm using my new microphone now that I'm still working the kinks out of. There is a video that I was planning on making for a while, and it is the fact that I believe Plants vs. Zombies 3 as a sequel to Plants vs. Zombies 2, or a follow-up to Plants vs. Zombies 2, I don't fucking know, I forgot. This game will die. I, I will say it outright, I think this game has no way of redeeming itself, not even a little bit. This isn't gonna be like me ranting about like, oh, the mechanics are bad, I'm looking at it from just literally just looking at the game looking at what it offers compared to the other games also i have a bunch of the actual details here about how much money it's actually making so i'm just gonna go over that because i personally feel like it is pretty important because again this is my own personal belief you can have a different belief than i do obviously like everyone can have a different opinion about these types of topics because again these are subjective topics i don't feel like i should be lambaster just because i'm saying that i believe plan zombies 3 can fail people can like plan zombies 3 it doesn't matter it's just the fact that i personally believe that in the direction that this company is going in trying to make clamor zombies 3 it will fail simply because they don't they don't know what they're doing i'll just be honest i believe that this game has been stuck into a corner and they have not been able to get out of it if you want an example they said that they got rid of some new things to try and innovate they're trying to innovate their series so they got rid of choosing your plants and the almanac and you know all that they made the game even faster paced they for some reason made it a puzzle game and now it has all these like random things to do with like you know, the garden scapes and it's like that is not what this franchise is about the game that they're making is a plant zombies game a tower defense game there are so many other tower defense games and plant zombies has remained as probably one of the most unique uh the most unique one that i played recently is bloom's tower defense itself i played that one too and it hurts to see where this series is because it is able to flourish no pun intended but this series can flourish if given the correct attention from the people in charge which as of right now based on the entire community they don't care and they're just looking for the easiest way out which is making a generic mobile game on top of just it being generic i want to talk about how much money it's making because recently they have been mostly discussing the fact that like they need to monetize some stuff about it and it's very confusing about how they want to monetize it uh Plamer zombies one in general didn't have much monetization uh the only monetization was i believe coins and in the free version of Plamer zombies Remember, you have to pay for Plant Zombies 1 in general, but in the free version, you can pay for extra minigames, you can pay for extra coins, which are important, and that was the way they monetized it. It was the free version that you can, you know, simply pay if you want to and unlock the content slowly if you don't want to spend money, but you can also buy the game outright and get everything for free. And in Plant Zombies 2, they changed it so that there's premium plants. Mm -hmm. So now you can buy more premium plants in exchange for what is essentially the entire first game all over again. I feel like they overpriced these premium plants, especially with how version 1's premium plants were just plants from Plant Zombies 1 brought over and it didn't really feel like they were too special, so they definitely could have done better. As of right now, Plant Zombies 1, the Android version, is sitting at $20,000 made and Plant Zombies 1 in Apple is $30,000 made with Plammer Zombies 2 on Android making about $100,000 and Plammer Zombies 2 on Apple making over $400,000. So it's still successful even by now. These two games are doing really well, like it's $30,000 from just the Apple version plus the Plan Zombies 2 version, so $430,000 from that is not bad. And from Android, $120,000, that's not bad either. And then we get into Plan Zombies Heroes, which to be fair, I, I, I really like the game. I personally really enjoyed the game. Feels like they kind of tried taking a step back. They, they tried taking a step back to try and expand the franchise, which is a good thing. Blamer Zombies Garden Warfare was probably the best thing this franchise could have experienced. And Blamer Zombies Heroes was trying to also do the same thing, though it varied in success. However, I will say that Blamer Zombies Heroes still has a large community to this day. Which means that this game has lasting power. So, if they can try to, you know, help out that community, maybe they can flourish. But again, they just choose not to. So Android, Plammer Zombies Heroes is currently sitting at $60,000 made, and Plammer Zombies Heroes on Apple, $100,000 made. 
I know these like money numbers may not be like so like oh my god who cares I feel like it's important to see where this franchise is right now these are just the older games they're making a pretty large substantial amount Fire Zombies 2 on Apple alone makes up like a majority of this. But then we get into Planet Zombies 3 on Android and Apple both. 5k. 5, 5, 5,000 doubloons. And the only thing it ties with is Planet Zombies HD. And that is the free version of Planet Zombies that you can install. Planet Zombies HD is like, yeah, it, it makes little money, sure, but that's the point. It's just a free alternative. It's not supposed to be the main money maker because it's just a free alternative that you can spend money if you want. But if you do want to spend money on this game, why spend it on Planet Zombies HD? Why not spend it in getting the original game at full price? Planet Zombies 3 is in this hellhole where yes, it's in beta and people are like, oh, you shouldn't be so, so strong against this game in beta. Sorry, this conversation's kind of tiring because I'm getting sick and tired of hearing that statement. It doesn't matter if this game is still in beta. We have given our feedback to these people, to, to the people making it for a while now. And if they just don't want to listen, then that's on them. They can be losing all the money they want, but they refuse to listen to the community. And they've only started listening to the community now when they realize that the money they're making is going down. It's not because they want to make a better game. It's because they realize, well, shit, we're, we're stuck. We can't do anything. There's nothing else we can do except pander, which is exactly what this is. This game has went from trying to be a worthy sequel to being pandering. It's, it's just trying to pander to old fans. So no matter what, I think Planet Zombies 3 will be a failure if they continue to just disrespect what was already put in place. They thought innovation was the only way that they could prosper but then again you cannot innovate in a game if you don't respect what groundwork you've already put in or the groundwork of what people before you put in so i don't believe this game will be doing any good i believe that this game will probably keep losing money because if i remember correctly it used to be at 10k and it recently went down but yeah uh that's mostly my thoughts for Clem's zombies 3 it's not really new there's been a lot of people that have been saying the same thing I have. It's not special, but yeah, and see ya.